according to information received from sources from Nikkei Asia. During a meeting in Moscow in March 2023, Russian President Vladimir Putin made a statement to his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping that Russia intends to wage war in Ukraine, at least, for five years. It is noted that such a statement was a possible attempt by Putin to sum up the unfavorable situation for Russia at the time and to assure Eleven, who visited the Russian Federation for the first time after the invasion of Ukraine, that in the end Russia would emerge victorious. A possible implication, the source said, was that a protracted war could be beneficial to China's well-armed partner. On the other hand, it may also be a warning to Eleven not to change his pro-Russian position. It is worth noting that, despite the impact of this statement on Eleven, Putin's speech at the summit itself became the key to understanding a series of mysterious events in Russian-Chinese relations, from the Chinese peacekeeping mission in Europe in May to the resignation of the Chinese foreign minister a few months later. The New York Times recently reported that, at least since September, Putin has expressed willingness to broker a ceasefire, provided Russia retains the territories it currently controls. Actually, everyone knows very well what the dictator Putin's real intentions are to destroy Ukraine and arrange a genocide of the Ukrainian people, which he will definitely not be able to implement, because the Ukrainians skillfully destroy the occupiers by the tens of thousands a month.